Okay, I started this batch, my very first batch, at 12.20 a.m. is when I added the yeast on Monday, and it's now Tuesday at about 10 a.m. Um, it's like 10, 10 a.m. my time, which is in Central Standard Time. And it is the Autumn Amber Ale. Um... Late last night I checked and it looked like the you know, fermentation was slowing down and now the airlock's not bubbling as much as it was for the first 24 hours, so I'm hoping that's normal. Um, don't really see anything moving that much inside, so maybe it just does this for the next six days. Um, I don't know if anybody can tell me, do you have to leave it in for like seven days, you know, a full week before transferring it to the second fermentation carboy? Um, if anybody can let me know, that would be great. before it was bubbling like crazy but now it's up oh, everywhere there's a bubble so it must be still doing something inside just not as fast as it was before hmm. what about every 20 seconds, maybe. Another question I had was, should you shake it at all? Like, stir it up? Is that good or is that bad? Pretty cloudy in there. Just heard and that's just another bubble. So it's about every 30 seconds I'm getting a bubble. Um, so, there we go. That is my first brew. Autumn Amber Ale from Midwest Home Brewing Supplies in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Um, I was turned on by them by a uh, his name is Joe on YouTube. Not quite sure what his um, username was. It's a pretty long one. Um, but he seems to be the best guy out there. And he had a lot of great advice. And some other people I'm talking to. But he mentioned it. And I was only about 300 miles from the city of Minneapolis. And I was going down there anyway this weekend last weekend so I picked up all the stuff to start brewing it's a pretty big store if anybody's ever not been there or anybody that has been there you can see you can see how big it is everything that they got there okay we'll find out what happens here Maybe Saturday I'll transfer it into the second carboy. Talk to you later. Bye.